Hello, I'm Stephen Thomas with BizTalkGurus.com. Today I'm going to talk about recoverable interchange processing in BizTalk Server 2006. First off, what is recoverable interchange processing? It is simply the ability to suspend and fail individual messages inside an interchange. This is a new feature that's available in BizTalk 2006 and we did not have this uh, ability in BizTalk 2004. Let's talk about some general items first. Uh, first off, what is an interchange? An interchange is simply one or more messages inside of BizTalk. A receive pipeline will receive a single interchange and then using the flat file disassembler or an XML envelope it may actually break up that interchange into many messages or it could actually just pass the whole interchange through as a single message so essentially an interchange is one or more messages now this shouldn't be confused with adapter batching uh, adapter batching allows us the ability to pick up and submit multiple interchanges to BizTalk in a single batch. Now we always have and still do have the ability for whole interchanges inside a batch to fail and be handled um, normally throughout the process. But what we now have the ability to do is to have single records inside a specific interchange fail and not fail the whole interchange. So in BizTalk 2004 this was an all-or-nothing process when we were debatching or breaking up a interchange. If we had 10,000 records inside our flat file and one record failed, all 10,000 messages would um, be held up and not processed. In BizTalk 2006, we have the choice to either suspend the whole interchange or allow the 9,999 successful messages to be submitted into the message box and processed and this ability to set this property is actually set at runtime and it can be um, overwritten from what the default values are in the uh, compiled pipelines. I have here a sample of recoverable interchange processing that you can uh, download from biztalkgurus.com and here I have an orchestration that is simply a sequential convoy that's going to process our inbound uh, single messages one at a time and just write them out to disk and it does that in a loop until it doesn't find any more messages for 20 seconds and then the process will end. Um, inside here I simply write a sequence number uh, and append that to the end of the file name so that we're able to see how many documents we've uh, written out. Now we look over here at our receive pipeline and this is just our standard XML disassembler but if we come over here in properties we'll see that we have an additional property available to us now called recoverable uh, interchange processing and I'm going to go ahead and leave that set to false for now and I'll show you how to override that later inside the BizTalk admin tool. So let's switch over to the BizTalk admin tool now and for those of you that are new to BizTalk 2006 the uh, admin tool has been totally re revamped and looks nothing like it did before um, this is basically our BizTalk group page, which gives us a general look and feel of what's going on in our server right now. And we can go ahead and refresh this. It's going to update our queries. And we're going to see that we have no suspended and work in process messages at uh, this point. So uh, everything's set up and running in here. I have an application set up called biztalkgurus.com hyphen failed interchange and this contains all my send and receive pipelines um, and the orchestration and send and receive ports uh, for this uh, scenario. Um, everything's set up, configured and running so let's go ahead and drop some messages and get some output. I'm going to grab my sample input file. This contains a single XML message that has six individual messages inside it that will be broken up by an envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this and I would be expecting six individual files out numbered one through six. And here's my six output files as expected. I'm going to go ahead and delete those. 
Now let's look at our failed message. This is the exact same message, except I've changed two of the indiv individual messages to actually fail. And since we're not using recoverable interchange processing, I should go ahead and drop this in here, and we should see nothing in the output. Since this is modeling the 2004 behavior, and it should be an all or nothing. So I see here I have nothing in the output. And let's come into our admin console. Let's do a refresh. And we'll now be able to see that we have one suspended resumable message. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. We'll come over here and do a refresh on our suspended resumable messages. We have a single message. Let's look at service details. Let's look at messages. Single message. Message details and we can look at our body and here we can see this is our whole full message with 0 to 5 individual messages inside it. So let's close these windows. Let's actually terminate this instance. Select yes. We'll refresh that. We'll see we have nothing more in there. We'll refresh our BizTalk group and we should see we have no more work in progress and suspended messages. So now let's enable recoverable interchange processing. So we'll go into our applications, into our container for this application, and let's look at receive locations. This is our single receive location. Let's right click, go to properties, and down here we see we have our uh, type, our URI, our receive handler, pretty much the same things we had in 2002, except now here when we define our receive pipeline, we have this ability to set these items at runtime. So here we can change our document schema, validate document, allow and recognize messages, some of these things that were only accessible inside compiled code in 2004. But we're looking at right now is recoverable interchange processing. So let's actually set this from false to true. Let's click OK. Apply. OK. Now just to be safe, let's come down here to our host instances and let's find our host and let's stop and restart our host. Uh, we now have this great feature called Restart, which uh, saves us from having to stop and start like we always had to in uh, 2004. So now that's restarting. Let's get ready to uh, drop our file again. Let's grab our failed message. Come over here and drop it into our input. And it'll be picked up here in just a moment. There it goes. Let's check our output. And now we are expecting four messages in our output. And here we go. One, two, three, and four. And now we should have two messages that are suspended. So let's come in here, do a refresh of our BizTalk group, and we'll see we have two suspended resumable messages. Let's go look at these individual messages, and let's take a look at one of these, service details, messages, it's now suspended. Let's go to message details, and let's look at our body and now we can see that it has suspended the individual single messages instead of the whole interchange. So with that we can show how simple and easy it is to set up recoverable interchange processing for BizTalk 2006 and um, stay tuned to biztalkgurus.com for um, additional information on BizTalk 2006. Thank you.